of martial law and political oppression. In the last month, I have warned you that the latest crisis Obama and his controllers want to stage is a race war in this country to be the cover for the MRAPs, the helicopters, the drones, the sound cannons to be rolled out against the American people in general. U.S. Army training to fight black Americans. Actual video up on Infowars.com. I shot a 20-minute overdrive, almost 30-minute special report last night that aired after the nightly news. The news is always 30 minutes long, but when it's extended, when the main news ends, some stations are already carrying, <coughs> not just aff affiliate, you know, PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. We then go into, for just online viewers, an extra expanded overdrive, and we did a very important breakdown of this. It's regular Army training, battling black people in the drills. And uh, I made a big deal about it when we saw some of this training a few years ago where it was only white people. Uh, so they're just training to attack certain ethnic groups. And again, we're not demonizing the military even here. They don't like what's going on. They're freaking out. This is a plan to divide and conquer this nation. It was two years ago, back on July 16th, 2012, that a public army document was put out, confirmed to be authentic, where the U.S. Army admitted that they're training to confiscate guns from people who do not turn them in under orders. That was an earlier 2012 version of ATP 3-39.33, Civil Disturbances. Then, in 2013, last year, the Army came out and released a public document about how to process Americans via their social security numbers into the FEMA camps or emergency centers under the Emergency Centers Establishment Act. Now, three days ago, last Friday evening, the U.S. Army released the then secret April 2014 updated version of the Civil Disturbances Secret Manual. The article is on Infowars.com with a link to army.mil to read the document for yourself. This document details the most frightening example of treason I could ever imagine. IS or ISIS lines up their political enemies and shoots them. The Nazis shot unarmed civilians. Our military, who are good men and women on average, are being slowly twisted and inducted into this under the rubric of dealing with crises that the globalists themselves have created. The document publicly says they're preparing for full-scale riots across the U.S. and to use lethal force against unarmed, nonviolent Americans and how to shoot them in the spine or the heart or the testicles, depending on how you want to terrorize the public. You've noticed the Marines and Army have been doing mass zombie wave drills where they practice mowing down masses of unarmed people. And they say, don't worry, it's only in case zombies attack. That's how they dehumanize the mass of the public in the eyes of the military, is say, oh, they're just rats, they're just parasites. Again, the Nazis and the Soviets and others would liken their enemies to rats or animals as well. This is part of the dehumanization process. This new document openly talks about how to terrorize the public, how to shoot unarmed people. And it is the local police who are being federalized, who are being given the armored vehicles and the training and the uniforms, they have to go to Army-sponsored training classes where they're taught the force continuum, where they're taught civil disturbances, ATP 3-39.33. That's why they were aiming guns at Josh Owens, our reporter, in broad daylight who was peacefully there videotaping in the press area. That's why they were shooting rubber bullets and tear gas uh, at mainline reporters like Al Jazeera and arresting Washington Post reporters inside McDonald's who were there peacefully getting a hamburger, if you can call it that at McDonald's, because this is to be a hardcore takeover. And the police and military are compartmentalized just following orders. That's why it's important. That's Josh Owens right there on screen having the M4 pointed at him. That's why it's vital to understand this is about a federalization process. 
And DrudgeReport.com today linked to our article with video evidence proving the new Black Panther Party, the Black Ku Klux Klan, Al Sharpton, admitted FBI, and others are there orchestrating and running the violent demonstrations and uh, the destabilization that's happening. We've seen looting now over the weekend, police getting shot at. This is an attempt to start a civil war. I know you've heard this about a thousand times from me or more because this has been the plan. They're even putting out the diagrams, and we'll scroll up and show you, of where to shoot people. Again, this is really happening. So they want to get the military and the police federalized in a war with the American people. The, the first they primed the pump claiming it's for Al-Qaeda. Now they say, no, it's not for Al-Qaeda, it's for the inner cities. But the real training is for the Tea Party and gun owners and returning veterans. So all of you good old boys that are going along with this saying, well, it's the out of control inner cities, you know, the welfare class, we got to do this to keep everybody safe. You are literally putting your neck in the noose for the takeover. Obama has massively increased the police state funding for domestic operations, and they are suckering everyone right now. Infowars.com is the leader in exposing this. Whether it was NSA spying or military training to take guns, we've told you the truth, we have the track record, and we're showing you the documents. There will be trolls denying this even exists. There will be trolls saying no guns were taken during Katrina. This is all a globalist attempt to maneuver the country into martial law and to get the police and military and public to go along with it. I'm all for law and order. But we live in a day and age where the Democrats are arresting Rick Perry, arresting Dinesh D'Souza, harassing the Tea Party with the IRS. This military, this police, these bureaucracies, though they're made up of good people on average in many cases, the orders are evil. They just give them a cover story to rationalize what they're doing. So please pray for America. Pray for an awakening. Pray for America to repent. And I don't mean run to some mega church and worship some state-run preacher, but just get our hearts right with God and try to turn things around before they get a lot worse. This is all part of the season of escalation, the season of crisis I've warned you of. This is the new world order coming down on us like a ton of bricks. This is not a game. This is the attempt to start the civil war where they will then stage terror attacks, blame it on the liberty movement during a race war, and then have the feds come in and crush the inner city people and the, quote, mainly white militia as a pretext of restoring order. I've studied it. This is one of their main battle plans. They've got other scenarios they're working on as well. This is the main one, and it looks like they're going live with it. Repeat. This is not a drill. We've got to get the word out. Only exposing this paradigm and getting people outside the box can reverse it and stop it. And if we do back it off, people say, oh, I thought it was going to be martial law. I thought the NSA was spying on me. That doesn't matter. We've done our job again and backed this thing off that's been growing like a cancer. Because the documents are here. This is something right out of Nazi Germany, right out of Soviet Russia. This is unbelievable, and it's happening here in America. Just like the torture and the secret police and the warrantless spying and the GMO and our military being under UN command and two plus two equals five being taught in Common Core, we are living in 2014. We are living in a science fiction movie, a globalist state-run utopia that's really a dystopic nightmare. Until tomorrow, I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars Nightly News for David Knight and the rest of the crew. If you're watching or listening to this transmission, you are the resistance, and don't take that for granted, folks. They're moving against the free press right now. So spread the word while you still can.